Hello everyone. Uh, so today uh, we are going to do an acrylic pour. Uh, so here I have, well, if you can see this, uh, but there is uh, a bright pink. Uh, so it's a, actually a mixture um, of the folk art color shift paint, uh, pink flash. Um, and then I mixed in some of this pearlescent uh, mixture that I got. Um, and there's also a little bit of chroma magenta in there. This is a craft barrel purple mixed with some white, uh, which gives it a nice color here. And of course I have a mixture of apple barrel um, and some folk art uh, paint together. So we're just going to see what happens. Uh, in this one, I'm not going to use white paint as part of the Dutch pour. So it should be interesting uh, to see how that goes. But it's a theory I've been curious about for quite some time. So we're just going to give it a whirl. Hopefully it works out nice. I have done Dutch pours with other colors such as black. Uh, but we're just going to see how this goes. So I think what I will use as the color that goes over, I guess, will be the pink. So I think we'll start with this lovely color right here. So I'm going to do one of mine where it goes all over. Um, some, some Dutch pours, you know, it's little bits of color. Uh, but as you guys know, that's not really my thing. I like some nice vibrant colors. So I thought it'd be fun to just back and forth do these colors. So for this one, I'm going to go for like a really big circle. Probably more so than I normally do. Then what's fun? Just... Instead of just doing circle after circle, I like to mix it up a little bit. Just for fun. So here we have the pink. Oh, gray shadow, you are not my friend. Awesome. So what we're going to do is, I'm like I would do with the white, so we're just going to do a nice circle around. And we're just going to see what happens. It could be a disaster in a minute. It could not be. Actually, I'm going to add a little more over here. Uh, that's kind of the fun, I find. You get these wild ideas and you got to see how they turn out. All right.
Even when I do a Dutch pour, sometimes I'm still tilting. It's not always relying on the same old blow dryer, just the blow dryer technique. I think it's really fun, and of course I love Dutch pouring, but it's good to change it up. So there is this white space, although I do like negative space in this piece. I, it's not really what I'm going for. So I'm going to put a little extra paint here. Just for fun, we'll swirl some in there like that. Wow, I just love this. So this is going to be part of a two-part project uh, where I'm actually, after this dries, I'm going to add a photograph in the middle, uh, which I'm going to be adhering, obviously, um, and then I'm going to pour resin over it. So that's going to be super fun, and I'm really excited. So again, beautiful. Yeah, so interesting fact about the pearlescence. I just wanted to add this real quick. I am absolutely covered in the acrylic pouring version of like fairy dust. It's very interesting how sparkly I am. Anyways, just thought I'd share this little tidbit. Um, but so far I'm really liking the pearlescent, the look of it. I think it's beautiful.